Now, now, on the road with Heidi and Josh. Brought to you in part by the Illinois Office of Tourism and Illinois South Tourism. And powered by Amber in Illinois. And I can't wait to get on the road again. On the Big 550 KTRS. Well, I am so excited about this uh, interview. Of course, Andy Waterman, Illinois South, is back with us. Good to see you and your lime green. I've actually gotten a lot of compliments on the lime yeah, green today. I'm glad and, I wore them. And you have your uh, matching glasses. Yes. Yeah, it's a good look for you, you. But we have a couple other special guests. We've got Jennifer Ostrander and her daughter, uh, Shannon Wells. You guys now own the old Wix factory in Highland, Illinois. And I guess... I think I was there 20 years ago. Was it? When did it stop being a actual organ factory? They actually put the building up for sale in 2011. They had an auction with all, for all the machinery, and so it was for sale for six years before we ever bought it. So it was had a, it was very dilapidated, and um, at one point they had actually um, looked into possibly demoing parts of the building and making it a parking lot. So, How old is the building? The original part um, is 1910. So Whoa. one of our halls in our Gatsby room is part of the original building from 1910. Holy cow. So you guys saw this and thought, all right, there's got to be some sort of opportunity here. Well, we bought it originally because we did have a gymnastics business and we rented for seven years. And someone had brought it to our attention and more for curiosity's sake to kind of look at it and then the wheel started turning a bit, and it actually, because of the condition it was in, was basically one-sixth of what our rent was, what we are paying. So it kind of made sense to go ahead and jump into it. But we, we took up 20,000 square foot of it. We just didn't know what we were doing with the other 60,000 square feet. The other 60,000. It's huge. Gosh. It's huge. So mm-hmm. uh, you closed the gymnastics part. And decided that this would be a great event space? So we actually did did both. So my daughter, Shannon, we work together every day. (laughs) Yeah. And you still like each other for the most part? Yes. We have our (laughs) moments. Uh, But she did run the gymnastics business for three years as this start kept growing and we kept we would remodel the next hall and then the next hall and it just got to be to a point where I needed a second person with me and um Kind of after COVID and the shutdowns and everything, we just decided that this was a lot of fun. And it's four days a week versus seven days oh, a week. So, yeah. And our unofficial hashtag is it's a party every weekend. So, I uh, like that. We So, Heidi, we got married in uh, an old car dealership mm-hmm. on Jefferson. I know exactly where it is. I've always wanted – is it underground? Jefferson Underground. Yeah, I've yeah. always wanted to see what that place looked like inside. Which is on the roof, mm-hmm. oddly enough. And when we were done, my wife said, I would just love to have a cool old building to turn into a wedding venue. Uh, That's what you guys have done. I went online to take a look at the pictures. It it is beautiful. But uh, for my wife's sake, tell me, what are you doing? You said that you have weddings on Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays. Um, What are you doing Monday through Thursday? Well, Monday... Typically, is we call it, and I'm using finger quotes, an admin day. So it's kind of right. catch up from the weekend. Take a nap day. Um, some things get thrown into our office, and we shut the door real quick. So we kind of put everything back away. We catch up with phone calls and everything. Tuesday tends to be a cleaning day. That alcohol. We, mm-hmm. we have alcohol deliveries and um, just inventory we have to keep up with throughout the week and make sure if we have a 350 person wedding, we have enough alcohol to get through and. Um, just admin, kind of keeping up with everything. Clean. Do you guys do all of that? Do you provide the bar? Do you provide the food? Is it a full service uh, event venue? We we let, we kind of do say that we're all inclusive because we do have bridal suites. We have the ceremony. We have a cocktail hour in our Gatsby room, and then three options for a venue hall. We include tables and chairs. So, and then we do include the bartenders. Um, and we have our liquor license in the state of Illinois. So the one thing that they do like about us, we have a preferred caterer, but for the most part, all the other things are their choices. So we do let them pick their own florist, photographer, DJ, mostly because I don't want to be responsible for dictating that they have to go with somebody, and then mm-hmm. they're not happy about it. So I that's get kind that. Of... Have you had to deal with any bridezillas? Oh, um, well, to, I, people ask us that all the time. And to be honest, if you'd have seen what our first year looked like when we were booking weddings in 2018 for our 2019 season, which was our inaugural year, we had 42 weddings. 
And basically, none of those brides could have been a bridezilla looking at how it looked with all the demo going on. So most of them just had faith in us. They saw my Pinterest vision boards of what I had up there. I actually had to print them out because originally they were on my phone and I would be going through pictures. Well, this room's going to look like this. So finally, I just printed <laughs> them all out. And so then they, they, they were all visionaries. Now, we did have some come through on a tour that they'd have their lip turned up a little bit and mm-hmm. just like, I don't get it. You know, I don't see it. And then I actually had one one bride that said she had to quit following us on our Facebook page because she every time she would see an update and a post, she just kicked herself because she just couldn't see it. She said, but as soon as I'm done with my wedding, I'll come back and I'll like you guys and follow you again. So. <laughs> I get that, too. You knew from the beginning. I mean, had you ever done kind of a remodel of even a house? I mean, how did you have this vision? Yeah, you told us off the air that you spent 20 plus years in the Air Force. Well, were you in charge of catering there? Um, <laughs> well, actually, funny you say that. I was a first sergeant the last five years of my career, which is also kind of the health and morale for the, the enlisted troops in a squadron. So we did plan awards banquets and golf tournaments and just all kinds of things. And I always, that's one of the reasons I enjoyed being a first sergeant was because you, you work for the health and morale and make sure everyone's happy where they're at. So the Air Force kind of is good about that as far as... Um, just making sure everyone enjoys going to work and that. So I had that experience. And then if you talk about, we actually did buy an older house in Highland and everyone knows the house, but it was from 1972, basically the worst um, money pit that you probably could ever have seen. So, so basically when people found out we bought the building, they said, man, you are just a glutton for punishment because, (laughs) and actually we're only about, we bought that house in 06 and we're only about 80% done. So, so you like a project is what I hear you We watch saying, a lot of Jennifer. HGTV shows. She doesn't so. like a lot of downtime. Uh, <laughs> I get that. We're talking to Jennifer Ostrander and Shannon Wells, along with Andy Waterman. We're talking about the old Wicks factory in Highland, Illinois. Are weddings your bread and butter, or do you do a lot of other events? It is uh, the majority because, actually, we have them book out up to two years right now we're booking october of 2024 just because people want the fall weddings 2024 (laughs) so but we do um have a couple of events that we are going to try a hand at and one is um oktoberfest we're calling it ofest 2022 it's october 7th 8th and 9th and we're going to have two bands friday night two bands saturday night we're going to have schlafly beer trucks and food trucks and just kind of tie into the Columbus three-day weekend of a lot of fun, and hopefully people will come out. We're going to have a party on the patio um, during the day on Saturday and Sunday with acoustics um, duos out there. So that's fantastic. So that's our first attempt, and we did block next year, so we're hoping that it goes well. We'll go ahead and do it again as an annual thing, and if not, then we'll open those dates up. Last year, that same weekend, we had a wedding Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so it's not that we couldn't book those dates. We're just blocking them right now, and then we do do a, a annual New Year's Eve party. So we did a Roaring Twenties New Year's Eve party rolling into 2020. We all know kind of how that mm-hmm. turned out. We do. But, so the prohibition thing was kind of ironic at the end of that. But uh, <laughs> then last year we did um, a Casino Royale New Year's Eve. And then this year we're doing a masquerade ball. So kind of um, I've already we've already had people asking us what our new theme is going to be. And they're already making plans to come because it's. People That's just the kind best of, compliment ever. Thanks. Yeah, it, it did. It makes you feel good that they enjoyed it that much. That they're already looking forward to seeing what what did they need to buy for the outfit for that. So one. looking at the pictures online, uh, I saw something that said the Gatsby room, so mm-hmm. I had to click on it. It's my favorite room. Leather mm-hmm. couches. I want to yeah. turn my garage into the, my <laughs> wife has awesome. to sign off on it's it. It's awesome. But leather couches. It looks so cool. Um, but it big halls, so it's perfect for a beer hall for Oktoberfest. But you got again, you were telling me off the air, September and October are the busiest months for weddings. Number one, why do people want to get married in September and October so it's badly? About 110 degrees. <laughs> well, that might be it. And number two, is there going to be a wedding going on while Oktoberfest is going on? Uh, uh, number two, no, because we blocked it. Okay. So, and we did for next year. So, I think it'd be great, yeah. Heidi. It'd be, it'd be, yeah. Um, Maybe. Yeah. Honey, I'm just going to duck out and go grab a stein. But as far as the wedding or um, the, the weather, September, October, when we first moved here back in 01, um, 
It was amazing. Just seems like the summer kind of doesn't end. You get those really nice. Yeah. Um, she she got married on October 10th, and it was 80 degrees that day. So oh, wow. wow. You can't, yeah. So that the weather, you can't beat it. And Shannon, did you get married in the last couple of years when you guys had the uh, factory, or you had to go and uh, find another venue for you? No, I was lucky, and um, I was actually painting five days before my wedding. I was the first <laughs> wedding in our grand hall. <laughs> Oh, so, cool. Cool. I don't think most brides do that. No, but probably I was, not. Uh, October 10th of 20, I was a COVID bride as well. So that was kind of different going through that. But it's kind of cool because I can help other brides um, kind of steer their way through that and just help them out. And yeah, you've been there and yeah. done that. Are there any remnants of the old uh, organs? Do Is there... Well, actually, in our grand hall, uh, that Roaring Twenties party that I mentioned, it was actually a fundraiser to put a former 1927 theater organ that was built by Wicks, um, put it together. And so we had to raise over $15,000, basically, to get it put together. And it's then, hard to find somebody that knows how well, to do that. They're still across the street, so they came over. Um, when they had time, it, we, they fit us into their schedule. They still maintain organs across the country, so they were able to still come over and um, help out with putting it together. And then we actually did have an inaugural debut of the organ with a Fox Theater, Mark Gifford, oh, um, organist that came and he did a whole little presentation of 45 minutes. And we, we actually do want to do more things like that too. And we want Can someone just come mm-hmm. over and tour the place? Um, by appointment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And see it. Yeah. yeah. It's so cool, and congratulations on all of that. Highland, Illinois is what, 30 minutes from downtown? Yeah. The, from straight, downtown, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, we kind of tell people we're a big deal. We have uh, two exits off 70, so, you know. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> have you found, are there a lot of people doing kind of a, I mean, I don't know if a destination is the right thing, but obviously Highland, Illinois isn't a huge metropolis. Lots of people coming in to have this uh, their weddings at the old Wicks factory. I would call it's it a destination funny that you called it a destination because yeah. we laugh that it is Highland, Illinois. But we are exactly four and a half hours east of Kansas City, uh, Indianapolis, Chicago, and even Nashville. So if you kind of went out in each of those directions, we've had people book us. The couple was in Washington State, but their family was still back here. We had a wedding of 170 people, and no one had ever stepped foot in the city of Highland and didn't know anything about it. So it's been kind of fun, all the different people that we've been able to meet. And a lot of Chicago people do come down because... You know, they had their families are down here and maybe they moved up or even Kansas City. So Mm -hmm. that's fantastic. And what else, Andy, should we be doing in Highland, Illinois, if we're over there for a wedding? Oh, Highland is great. Uh, It's one of my favorite places to eat. Uh, Shocking. I know. Right. Uh, So actually, uh, in terms of dessert, Highland is like a dessert mecca. They've got the uh, the chocolate affair, which we've talked about Mm -hmm. before. They've got uh, patty cakes on oh, the square. Yeah. Uh, they've also got uh, right in next to patty cakes. Now they have a new ice cream place, uh, City Scoops. Uh, and so you can go check that out. And then obviously uh, some great pies at both Urban Farmhouse and also at, um, uh, yes, yes, thank you. Uh, yeah. And they what are was this, what was all that last one? I didn't hear it. Gar- Blue Springs. Blue Springs, Blue yes. Springs. They have the, the, the foot high pie, so the meringue oh on top gosh. of that. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Well, to learn more about the Old Wicks Factory, you can go to oldwicksfactory.com. You can also follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Of course, there's all kinds of things going on in the Illinois South uh, tourism territory, illinoisouth.org. Ladies, Andy, so great to uh, have you guys here, and congratulations and best of luck. Well, thank, thank you, you so much.